In this video, I'm gonna cover five of my favorite editing tricks in Lightroom, and I'm gonna to try to do it all in under three minutes. Here we go. This works best on shots where you aren't able to use a shallow depth of field to point your viewer's eye toward your image's focal point. I'll start by adding a graduated filter from the bottom of the frame, and I want a soft, feathery fall off of the mask, so I'll drag it up to around here. Now, I'll lower the sharpness to around 25, lower the clarity a little bit, and maybe turn up the texture so we don't lose too much detail. I'll also add two more filters to the left and right sides. Similar settings as before should work well. And there we go. You can also use this technique to do a fake tilt shift lens look. I'll use a graduated filter again, but I wanna have a sharper fall off. Then I'll lower the sharpness slider all the way, drop clarity almost all the way. But once again, I'll raise the texture slider close to halfway so it doesn't look too soft. Now I'll right click on the filter and select duplicate. I'll move it to the other side of the rail car and rotate it 180 degrees. That's it. If you wanna clean up a backdrop without taking it into Photoshop, check this out. I'll grab a graduated filter and add it to the right side. Now I'll add a color range mask and click and drag to select the color of the backdrop. I can hold shift to add another sample point too. This will limit the filter to affect only the colors of the backdrop. Now I'll lower sharpness and clarity. Once again, I'll duplicate the filter, rotate it, and move it to the other side. Now since I'm missing some section of the backdrop in the middle, we can click brush and paint on any areas missing. Press O on your keyboard to see your mask. Voila. To brighten up our subject's face a little, we'll use an adjustment brush and paint over his face. I have auto mask checked to help me stay in the lines. We need to be subtle with our adjustments so it doesn't look weird. Just a little bump to the shadows and then our highlights. If you want to brighten the eyes a touch, just paint another brush over the eyes and then do an even smaller adjustment to the shadows and highlights. This shot is a little crooked and the buildings are falling away from the camera, so let's fix it. Down in the transform section, I'll click auto. Okay, that was too easy. If auto doesn't work for you, try the guided upright tool. Just click on the tool here and draw at least two lines, horizontal or vertical, along the buildings, telling Lightroom what should be completely straight. Now I'll finish it off by cropping out some of the junk in the foreground. Easy peasy. Now, this is more of a creative editing choice, but you can use it to change the color of just about anything as well. I'm gonna use a brush to paint over my eyes. Then I'll click the color swatch and choose a nice blue color. But for this, I want the saturation level of the color to be less than 15%. Now I'll lower the saturation of my real eye color, which makes our blue color we chose more effective. Nice. You can also use it to just enhance an eye color that may have been a little washed out. I did the same thing here that I did on my photo, but we can leave the saturation of her real eye color in the negative 20 range since we just need to enhance the color, not replace it. I use the same blue color set at 14%, super easy and effective. Well, there you have it. I know I went pretty fast. So if you wanna see anything in more depth, search our channel because we have a ton of Lightroom editing videos and we've covered a lot of these tools before. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below. Hit that thumbs up button if you like quick videos. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss out when we post. And we will be back next Monday. Bye. And I'm gonna try to do it all in under five minutes. In under six minutes. And I'm gonna try to do it all in under 10 minutes. I think, I think I can get it done in under 10 minutes.